So now we're going to look at another identity of the uh, Louisville function. And what we can do is we can sum up the divisors of n and take the Louisville function for all of the divisors. Now this identity gives us two different values. So it takes the value 1 if n is a perfect square. Just write that perfect square and 0 for all other values. So let's just have a look at one number for an example here. Let's look at the number 9. So we're going to sum up all the divisors of 9 and the Louisville function for those divisors. So the divisors of 9 gives us 1, 3 and 9. So let's take the Louisville function for all of those divisors. So we've got minus 1 to the power of omega 1. Lambda 3 equals minus 1 to the prime omega function of 3. And lambda of 9 equals minus 1 to the prime omega function of 9. OK, let's start with the Lua function for 1. So it's the sum of all prime factors what we need here. So there's no prime factors of 1. So minus 1 to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0, positive 1. For 3, it's just 1, so it's just minus 1 to the power of 1, which equals minus 1. And 9, so 9 is made up of 3 squared, so it's got 2 prime factors, so that equals minus 1 squared, which equals plus 1. So let's just add up all these prime factors, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1. So that equals positive 1. So that's our answer there, showing that it works for 9. Let's try another number. So let's just uh, let's take this one out. So let's do it for the number 8, which we know is not a perfect square. So the divisors of 8, the Louisville function for 8. So divisors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. Okay, so the Lua function for 1 we've already done, that is positive 1. Louisville function for 2, let's just write that, just write that here. Louisville function for 2 equals minus 1 to the prime omega function of 2. 2 has only got one prime factor, so that equals minus 1. Louisville function for 4, minus 1 to the prime omega function of 4. 4 is 2 squared, so it's got 2 uh, prime factors, so that equals minus 1 squared, which is plus 1. And the Louisville function for 8 equals minus 1 prime omega function for 8. 8 is made up of 2, 2 and 2, so that's 3, so minus 1 cubed which equals minus 1. So 1 is plus 1, lambda 2 is minus 1, lambda 4 is plus 1, and lambda 8 is minus 1. And that equals 0. So there we go, that's the identity for that one using the prime omega function.